Hello and welcome to the second in the series of Did You Learn Dundee's Tiny Tech Tips. Today we're going to take a very quick look at Seesaw, more specifically how to give quick and effective feedback on pupil work whether it's home learning or in class. So as you can see at the bottom of my screen I have one unapproved post. When I click on review I can see that Paul has responded to my Romans homework. For homework this week, they have been asked to use the Seesaw Creative Tools to create a collage or presentation explaining what they have learned about the Romans that week. I want to review what Paul has done. So I am going to click on this and have a look. I am going to give him a rating of 3 out of 4 stars because I would have expected a couple of pages from a pupil of this age and stage. However, I think he has done well in remembering what we have learned and recapping on that. So we've, he's learned about Roman baths. He's given us a little of information about how they were heated, um, a little bit of information about aqueducts, different kinds of rooms, and given me two images. So I think that's about a three out of four. I've also liked this, and I'm going to pop on a comment and I'm going to say, excellent work. Please remember capital letters. And that is the most simple way of giving a piece of feedback. However, we also have some other tools available to us. When we comment, we can actually add an additional voice recording. All you need to do is click the button to bring in recording and say something like, well done, Paul. Just remember your capital letters. This processes and adds it as a second comment for Paul to listen to. This is especially good for younger learners or learners who have additional support needs. How can I tell if my feedback has made any difference? Well, there are various tracking and monitoring tools for profiling journals within Seesaw. If you have a look at the bottom here, we have a little graduation cap and a folder. What I can do is I can pop this in one of Paul's folders. If I click on the folder, I can create a new one, but in this case he's been working on his topic. So I'll click on topic. Then if I go back into Paul's folders and click on topics, the only posts I will see that are pertinent to this topic. I can also print a PDF. When this PDF is created, it will be a PDF that can be saved or printed only of work that Paul has created that has been put in the topic folder. This is the same for any other folder. This makes it very easy for pupils to see progression in their work. Finally, we can also look at skills progression. If we have a little look at the graduation cap, we can see that I have created skills that I can rate Paul in and the rest of the class. So if I go to Roman work and topics and click on this, I can also give him a rating here. So overall in his topic, currently he is doing three out of four stars. This means that when I go up to the progress tab, I can see that Paul has engaged in this piece of work as I've given him feedback on the individualized piece of work, but I've also tagged him with a skill. So now I can look at all of the pieces of work that he does for Roman work and see how well he gets on. If I tag two pieces of Roman work with the same skill, I'll be able to compare and see how he's got on in both of those pieces of work. In the activities view, this is an overview of engagement and how well the class are engaging. As you can see, the activities view and the skills view are an extremely quick way of gaining a very visual overview and being able to put in interventions very quickly into what support you may need to give pupils in your class. We hope this tiny tech tip has been helpful. And as always, keep us posted on what you're doing with digital tools and Dundee schools by tweeting us at DigiLearnDundee.